Hi, this is Sharon with Amico. Today we're going to talk about your Brent wheel. So your wheel's making a funny noise. Perhaps it's thumping, knocking, squeaking, growling, or grinding. In this video we're going to discuss how to narrow down the culprit and correct the issue. For this you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver and two 7 16 inch wrenches. If you don't have the particular sizes of wrenches, an adjustable wrench will work just fine. You will also need a wooden block. Begin your troubleshooting in a quiet space. You'll want to lay your wheel on its hind legs. Even better if you can do this on an elevated work surface. Be sure to check that your bat pins are secure, as sometimes they can cause a rattling noise when loose. Begin by removing the belt guard held on by three bolts. It's easiest to start with the lower bolt first before the belt guard is loose, so be sure to start here. Remove the two upper bolts. Pull the belt guard towards you and rotate it to the left, ducking under the leg. Pull open the bottom hook to release completely. Run the wheel and listen again. You may find that removing the belt guard eliminated the sound. This is a common culprit as it can sometimes rattle or rub against the belt. This issue can be corrected by carefully reinstalling the belt guard, making sure all the bolts are tight. If a rattling noise persists, craft foam sheets can be cut and glued into problem areas. If removing the belt guard did not fix the noise issue, listen carefully to see if you can identify if the sound originates above or below the table of the wheel. If you can clearly hear the noise on top of the table, this would indicate bearings in your wheel head assembly. Faulty bearings skate around and knock into each other. This may present with rattling, scraping, or an irregular thumping sound. This would indicate the wheel head needs to be replaced. Before proceeding with wheel head replacement, take a moment to inspect the underside of the wheel head. Caked on clay can mimic the sounds of faulty bearings. If you're hearing a consistent thumping sound, this may indicate a defect in the drive belt. We'll need to remove the belt to test this theory. Place a block of wood under the motor plate so the motor doesn't drop when you remove the belt. Pinch the belt between the two pulleys and gently rotate in a clockwise position as you pull the belt towards you. Be careful not to let your fingers get between the belt and the pulley. Listen again to just the motor running. If the consistent thumping noise is gone, a new belt will need to be installed. Now you're able to listen to just the motor. If the sound persists this far, it can be one of two things. Motor bearing noise, which is housed in the upper part of the motor. This will present with a grinding growling noise. The other issue being brush noise. This will present typically with a squeaking or clicking sound. Sometimes brush noise can make a growling sound, which is easily confused for bearing noise. If any motor noise is present, we recommend stoning the commutator and cleaning the brushes. Before doing this step, reinstall the belt. Begin by hooking the belt over the smaller lower pulley. Stretch the belt over the left half of the upper pulley, pinch the belt to the pulley, and gently rotate clockwise until the belt is entirely in place. We use a six groove belt on an eight groove pulley. The belt should be centered on both pulleys to operate properly. If your belt is off center, pull gently on the belt in the direction you need to go as you slowly advance the pulley until the belt settles in the appropriate grooves. Unplug your wheel before performing this step. Put your forward reverse switch in the neutral position. For this you're going to need a quarter inch by half inch brush seeder and commutator cleaner, a flathead screwdriver, and a fine piece of sandpaper. Locate the two brush caps and remove them systematically one at a time. Be careful as the brushes are spring loaded. Make note of which side of the brush has markings. You'll want to reinstall the brush in the same orientation. Using your quarter inch by half inch brush seeder and commutator cleaner, press gently as you rotate the pulley a few times around. If the brush has defects on the surface, very gently go over it with fine sandpaper. If there are deep scratches or chunks missing, there's a different technique you'll want to use. Use the curve of the wheel leg to maintain the curvature of the brush as you sand. Concentrate on moving the brush in a vertical motion in line with the leg. Replace the brush in the same orientation it came out. 
Insert the copper tooth and slide the cap in place. The threading on this can be fickle. It can be helpful to reverse the cap until it settles in the threading before tightening. Do not over tighten or force the cap into place to avoid stripping out the threading. If stoning the commutator and cleaning the brushes fails to eliminate the motor noise, the motor will need to be replaced. And that's it. Thanks for joining us for this video. If you need any assistance along the way or help with a warranty replacement, please contact Amico's technical support team.